on Deborah. Get rejected. Swallow sadness. Send some faxes. Call a sex line. Cry deeply. Demand a refund. Eat a bagel. Hey guys. Huh? Oh, there's a goldfish down here. What the hell? Damn. <laughs> you shouldn't be in there. Um. So as you can tell, my uh, voice is still a bit rough, but I'm feeling a lot better today. Um, and what do I want to do this episode? Um, I think I wanted to go find a floating island. I see if I can get some more loot. The good thing about doing that is uh, I've already found one of them, so I can start doing another bridge on the same level. Um, I'm sure there are other methods. I mean, I'm, I'm aware of the one where if you look for a dirt background wall just hanging around in the middle of nowhere, it signifies that there's a floating island above it um, because it's been detached from the ground at some point during its history. So, well, I could use that technique, but. It's, uh, it's not 100% reliable because you can't always see the um, you can't always see the background because there could be like a, a cave entrance there. And I'm actually playing without sounds on. Um, I'm listening to my music at the moment, so. I've not got all my peripherals going. I think I'll start from this side actually. Ooh. for a while. I think I'm going to grab this gold before I go anywhere though. Oh, I need some more clay as well. Uh, hmm. Here in lies a difficult situation. Wow, it takes so long to kill. Ah, go away. Nice, alright. I don't know if you, you can actually tell that my voice is um, really gruff, but uh, I can definitely hear it in my own voice. I suppose there is one advantage. I sound proper sexy now. <laughs> I'm wondering if they're going to uh, start following me while I'm on the bridge because that could be problematic especially if they knock me off yeah 
that could definitely be a big problem. We finally found it. Awesome. And it looks like I've got just enough blocks to get up there. <laughs> hmm. Platforms. Do I even need platforms anymore? I'm pretty sure last time I came up to a floating island, I didn't have any. Uh, uh, I didn't have a grapple hook. Go. go ahead and grab this farm here. Can never get enough gold at the start of the game. Okay, okay, I'll stop delaying. <laughs> ah, Star Fury. Cool. I've got a bit of mana now, so it could be useful. Average speed. Uh, it might be good on a boss because of these stars, but that's, uh, that's debatable, I suppose. Hmm, is this silver brick? Looks like it. I want to go ahead and mine this area out. Uh, I'll leave it as it is and I think on a small world there's three floating islands that spawn so uh, I might go left next time whenever I want to find uh, another floating island but yeah like I said I'm gonna mine this area out and I'll go back and mine the other island out completely make sure I didn't miss anything um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get some more uh, gold so I can get a full set of gold armor. Need to get that out of here, Harpy. At least she's making it easy for me. <coughs> Excuse me. Looks like quite a lot of it too. That's the great thing about the floating islands. Even if you don't get good loot from the chest, you get plenty of ores. So it's worthwhile to come here before you get like completely maxed out. 
Because you get here and you're like, oh, the gold and silver. Uh, that's rubbish. I've got like demon -like stuff now. Um, so I'm not sure whether I'll actually come back here. I might, I might get a horseshoe, that would be a good thing to come back for for the, for the third foot in hand. Gold. Um, I'm wondering if there's going to be any more on the, uh, the other side. I'm pretty sure this is enough gold to get me another chest, but uh, get me a chest plate. Uh, Island. Excuse me. Sorry about that. That's uh, one disadvantage of playing while you're not. Tip top here, <laughs> not in tip top shape. Um. Uh, this, if it's one thing, I just wanted to quickly talk about um, the uh, last episode. In fact, it would, it was actually two episodes. Episode sixteen. Um, had a lot of fun doing it um, and while it probably wasn't the most exciting video that anyone's ever seen about to area um, it is only the first boss I probably did beat it up to be a bit bigger than it actually is wow these these harpies I don't know if you actually saw it earlier because I might cut that out but I might speed it up instead but these harpies were like spawning in sixes it's crazy there's no way you could actually dodge any feathers because there's just way too many of them So your combat in general, does that, that interest me and I think it's a little more interesting than me just walking around mining. But then again, it depends what you, you're up for at the time as well because you could want to see some mining, um, you could want to see some combat and vice versa at different time, at different points in time. So, so uh, you're not always going to get what you want, I think. Um, and the good thing about boss is it adds a lot more excitement um, uh, for me playing that was a lot more exciting than normal because it's hardcore if I had died I'd have been reverted quite far uh, and because bosses are like they're obviously a lot harder than uh, a normal um, mob fight so there's an added risk there of something bad happening I had a lot of fun doing it. This is uh, one of the episodes where I've actually talked quite a lot more than I usually do. Uh, and I aim to do that in the future a lot more often. So we'll see. Um, but I actually think I'm doing a lot better at commentary nowadays as well. As I said uh, in my forum post on terrariaonline.com, uh, I'm a quick learner. Uh, I want to advance my skills. I'm always looking for ways to better myself. And I appreciate your guys' feedback, uh, which uh, helps me do that. Oh yeah, this is the first time I've used my hammocks. Oh, awesome. Get out of here, Uda. This is my cave. My gold. Um, I think I should probably go down here, actually. Just because there's a bunch of stuff below me I can't actually see. I 
up to 19 subs now. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty happy about that. Um, thanks for it, to everyone who has subscribed and watched my videos on a regular basis. I'm hoping that some of you have started watching my videos um, and then just decide later on to subscribe after a, uh, maybe during the later videos or something like that. But wow, there's really no gold over this side. Mm. But yeah, I very much appreciate it. It, uh, it helps me feel better about doing this while I'm ill, you know, I think that some people are actually wanting to watch my videos, so I better pull my finger out and, and record something, you know. Personally, I'd still try and make an effort to do one every day, which is why I'm probably going to release two tomorrow. In fact, it would actually be today because this is um, Wednesday. I'm just going to record this and I'll probably edit it together tomorrow when I'm feeling a lot better. There's so really nothing else over here. There's like a little bit of gold on the end. I can't remember if there, I can't remember if there was any silver or not, but this is really nothing. Has anyone else ever experienced this? We're just like oh finally something. The mining of floating island, there's absolutely no ore on it at all. Oh, there's some gold down there actually. Um. I haven't been paying attention, but I think it just turned night again, so I could go down there, but I won't be able to see anything. I would preferably like to go down to the bottom of this end bit here where I can when I can actually see what's going on. It's pretty dangerous. Right, I think that's the best I'm gonna get. Wow, there's like a full stack of gold ore there. Awesome. Um, I don't need any more iron, silver. I'll have you. Gold, gold. I'll have you. Whoa. So I really hope they fix that. Um, I think they go into in the latest update where you can't actually click on a, outside of the uh, squares of the inventory. I wonder if you can, if I change it to sword, yeah. So you now you can click on here. It would be quite nice to have that functionality because then I can have my inventory open and scan it while I'm fighting monsters. Um, and obviously I can move around and stuff like that and click on the world. But it would just be nice to have this whole area here blocked off so I can't click in between the squares. Which is what I believe they're going to do anyway. Um, Alright, let's get this. <laughs> That's enough, right? Oh, wow, it's just enough. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah. How much does a set bonus? Three. Okay, so the silver set bonus was three. Um, and I believe someone told me that uh, the copper set bonus is one. Um, so I'm wondering what iron is. I should have checked that at the time, shouldn't I really? Before I sold all my equipment. Let's go ahead and put this all back in here and sort my inventory a little bit. Um, eight stars. I'm wondering if I've got enough for anything in my chest. Oh wow, I've got loads more silver ore here. Not that it actually matters. I think I'll probably leave that as ore because you never know I might want to make some bricks out of it. But it's not that hard to change it to a bar whenever I need to. Um, hmm. I don't really know what I'm going to do with all these gold chests but I'm just placing them down to save inventory space really. Oh yeah, and I did move all the uh, farming equipment down here, so... It's a shame I had to use that clay, 
and didn't find anything. I didn't, I didn't find any floating islands. Um, I probably had enough ebonstone. Yeah, I had like 60 clay, so I would have had enough ebonstone if I had just saved the clay. Uh, it's not a big deal, I suppose. Here's feathers. Think root. I think that while I'm here, I'm gonna actually uh, do a bit of farming. I could do with some more pink root seeds, really. That bl moon glow seeds, I mean. There we go. So that's all it is, essentially. You just grab the seeds, replant them, and eventually you'll grow your farm to a, a larger size. And every time you harvest your crops, you'll have. A much larger income. Uh, I don't think I need any more pink crude to be honest. I do have like 29. Um, is there anything else that can go in here? Uh, I've been crude. Um, that water leaf, I mean. So it takes quite a lot longer to grow. I mean, you've got like three day bloom saplings here, and you had two moon glow saplings there, and only one water leaf during that time. It's a lot disappointing, but I definitely need some more water leaves to grow my crops a little larger. Okay, so it, does, it looks like I don't have to go anywhere to uh, grab some more gold or I managed to pick up everything I'm going to need. I don't think I saw any stars in here. I've got to look. Nope. I'll go ahead and put these in here to clear some inventory space. So I can need some more potions before I head out anywhere else. Um, sunflowers, you can go in there. Um, I'll grab a hill while I'm here. Did I put those feathers in there? Damn it! There was one thing I wanted to do with those feathers actually, because I don't know what they do. Um, while I'm here, I'll put that in there. So may they make featherfall and gravitation. Ah, nice. I need fire blossom, death weed, and an actual blink root. That's odd. Hmm. Why do I need blink root? Oh well. That's uh, a good reason to hang on to feathers. Some idiot left them up there. Uh, sounds like daytime. Oh, why can I hear that it's daytime? I think my music must have stopped. And I didn't notice. Hey, I'm sorry about that. I just had to restart my music. Um, now it looks like these day blooms have bloomed now. I'll go ahead and farm these. Oops, didn't mean to destroy that. Okay, now there is uh, something else I'd like to do. Um, and I would definitely like to get a Hermes boots. Or I, I'm not 100 sure what other ac accessories I could get from down there, but I'd very much like to get some more accessories before I uh, fight the Eater of Worlds, just for giggles, you know. 
If I don't find anything, I'll probably won't um, upload this. Ooh, what is that? That looks like diamond to me. Yeah. Oh man, I hope there's more than just what I see. I dare not count it too early. How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? How many diamonds have I got? TEN! Yes! That is awesome. See? This was totally worth it. I've not found anything and I've spent about 10 minutes down here so with that discovery <laughs> I'm getting the hell out of here. And there's one thing I did remember on like halfway through the journey and I was thinking hmm didn't I say I was gonna make uh, a phase blade? Now, unfortunately only one person voted and he said red so I would make a red one but I just found diamonds man. How the hell can I make a red one if I've just found diamonds? Alright. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow, well, I'm super happy right now. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed that. Um oh, it's down to forty gold now. I think that might be the uh the next task after defeating the Eater of Worlds. So join me in the next episode for that. Thanks for watching. Hey, everyone.